how to set proper goals to get you to a million dollars or seven figures in a year, six figures in a year, five figures, whatever you're trying to get to, those high ticket, those high uh, numbers, how do you do it? It takes a specific uh, path to getting there. I'm going to show you and discuss seven points to get you there. How do you do it? We'll talk about it. Now, in this video, we're going to cover seven points to setting proper goals to scale from zero to hero. So if folks are trying to go from $100 to $500, 500 to 1,000, 1,000 to 5,000, 5,000 to 10,000, 10,000 to 100,000, all the way up to about seven figures a year, you're going to want to watch the entire video. Stay to the end because I'm going to show you how to track, what to use, what resources you can use and tap into, and then how to get there. All right. So this is setting proper goals to get to that seven figure mark in the market. Are you ready? All right. Let's get it. Okay, folks, so if you stay to the end, I'll give you a goal tracker. I'll show you what you need in order to track your progress and how to get to the next level in the market. Now, I've helped many traders improve in the market. You can watch my last two videos, how I've helped traders go six figures in 30 days. They're on track to doing 1.2 million, yes, million in a 12 month period. We have also have we also have traders hitting the 15,000 in a week mark, the five figure mark, the four figure mark. Everybody grows at different paces. I structure trade plans and work with everybody individually. There is no one size fits all in the market. There is no, you know, general blanket uh, trade plan. Everyone has different strengths and weaknesses, different areas of opportunities. And we structure that in this discord. I structure it to help you either way. But there are two things, no matter what, no matter what you're doing, no matter what goal you're trying to reach, there's two things you got to knock out first. Here we go. The first thing is you've got to make sure that your mindset is in check. You have to be ready to change. Now, there are people that come into my discord and other discords who are just argumentative or disruptors or there's they're tied to patterns or whatever. They're not ready for change. They're not going to grow, period. I don't care what they say, what they feel. There's a there's a humility that comes with the market. And if a person doesn't humble you, then certainly the market will when it takes your money. So that's the first thing you got to be ready. What do I have for you to help with your mindset? Go over to our podcast channel, free game, mental development. It's there for you. Listen to it in your car, around the house, on your, you know, when you're working out improve your mind. And that's the first thing you need to do to getting better. The second thing is you need a proper system. It doesn't matter what goal you set. It doesn't matter what you want to do. It doesn't matter what you wish to do. If you have an improper system, if you're using lagging indicators, supply and demand, if you're using patterns, if you're using what all these other traders are doing, you're going to fail, period. We don't use that. I use a system that I have developed called VVP. You can come into the Discord, get the training, find it, I'll show you that at the end, how it's helping people, all that. But those are the two things you're going to need first. And I'm talking about that before we even get to, to, to any kind of goal. Because if you don't have those two, my words are wasted. It doesn't matter what I say to you. All right. OK, so let's give you the seven points you need. All right. These are seven points to increase your profitability and income in the market to get to that four, five, six, seven figure mark over time. Number seven. First, you need to be ready for progress. That's number seven. All right. Means your habits and your patterns in life need to be aligned to accept change and progress. So if you're a sloppy person, if you're late all the time, if you never do your pre-market prep, if you think that this thing is just so easy and oh my gosh, I'm just going to make a million dollars tomorrow. You're unrealistic in your view. If you've got some other detrimental habits, you need to, you need to check yourself. Now, how do you get yourself ready for progress? It's about the books you read, the audios you listen to, the people that you're around. Now, I talk about that in my book, How to Day Trade with a Full-Time Job. I talk about that in our podcast. I talk about that in uh, some sessions that we do called the Mindset Mondays and the Katie's After Dark, where I'm just giving you the goods and nuggets each and every week to crush this thing. And it, it hangs on your ability to be ready. You have to be ready to accept. There's some humility there. There's some understanding there. You got to be ready to accept change. So then your habits and your patterns need to adjust. How do you adjust them? It's the books you read. It's the things you look at. It's the people you hang around. It's all that stuff. All right. Number six, set realistic goals. You need to be realistic with yourself. 
All right. You cannot set goals that are so lofty that no one will attain just because you want to get there. doesn't mean you will get there. All right. So how do you set uh, realistic goals? Well, you got to know yourself. You got to go down a list of maybe a smart assessment or a SWOT assessment, whatever the case is, but start small. So here's an example. If you look at the overwhelming number of traders in the market, most of them fail. Even the ones that succeed tell you that they've it's taken them three, five, seven, ten. That's always the marker. Then you hit markers at different intervals, right? The three-year mark, you hit a you hit a leap. The five-year mark, you hit a leap. The seven-year mark, you hit a leap. The ten-year mark, you hit a leap, right? And your money follows that, all right? Well, in order to get there, you've got to start incrementally. You cannot say, I want to make six figures right now. You cannot even say I want to make six figures in my first year. Don't even think about it. Your goals shouldn't be you know, monetary based on a daily basis. Yeah, down the road, you may want to hit certain markers and that can be a goal in the sense of, hey, if I just maintain consistency, I'll get there. But you're not going to get there just by wishing and setting that. So a better framework is set, you know, execution based, set action based goals, meaning, hey, I want to execute five successful trades today. I want to trade level to level today. I want to do this or that. Don't attach money to your goals. All right. So Number five, track yourself, track your progress. All right. You use a journal you can use the wealth Wolf's 90 day day trading journal. It's up to you. Right. But new traders should be tracking themselves in intervals of one, three, six, 12, one, three, six, 12, meaning one month, three month, six month, 12 month. And there should be a plan to track every interval. All right. So after 30 days, you're tracking, you're reviewing, you're improving. Nine, uh, 30, uh, then you're going to go to three months, reviewing, tracking, improving six months, reviewing, tracking, improving, improving 12 months, reviewing, tracking, improving. All right. Number four, don't laundry list. Don't laundry list. You can only work on one thing at a time efficiently. Now I know ladies will disagree with me because ladies think that they can do <laughs> more things than men. And you're probably right. They think that they can walk and chew gum at the same time. And you're probably right. But the human brain literally can't. The human brain cannot focus on more than one thing efficiently at the same time. So don't laundry list. I know you're working on entries and exits and you're working on stop losses and you keep getting stopped out and you're working on fear and greed and blah and blah, but you can only work on one thing at a time. So choose the most pressing topic, the most pressing point and work on that. All right. How do you get there? You've got to do a SWOT assessment. You've got to sit down with the coach or a mentor or somebody to help you understand about you. It's best to get somebody else's opinion of yourself. It's not good when you just evaluate yourself. You need other people to evaluate you. All right. So that you can see yourself realistically. Number three, give yourself time and grace. Give yourself time and grace. What do we mean by that? All right. I did a podcast pretty much, I think over a year or two ago, uh, that is a very popular podcast and a very popular session where we explain how you can be defeating and how setting improper goals can actually be discouraging. So you need to understand, slow roll this thing, give yourself some grace. You know, it's OK if you make a mistake. So go listen to this podcast episode. It'll cost you nothing. It's just free game that we put out there. We did it for the tier three but we decided to release it to everyone. So that's number three. Give yourself time and grace. You need to just be patient and understand this takes time. Number two, be consistent. Be consistent. You cannot get to where you need to be if you start, stop, start, stop, start, stop. So what helps with consistency? Being held accountable inside of a community or by your spouse or somebody in your home that can hold you to a high level. You don't have someone in your home. Guess what? You got the Wealth Wells Day Trading Community. I'll hold you accountable. I do not let you slide. Anyone who's trained with me, you guys know I tell it like it is and keep it straight with you. You need to be consistent if you're going to get to your goal. All right. And the number one, the number one thing and point when setting goals to increase in profitability, uh, to increase income in the market, to get to those four five, six and seven figure goals is know yourself. Ask a mentor or a friend to help you do a SWOT assessment to know your personality, your trading frequency, and really where you're trying to go, what you're trying to do and break it down. Now, many traders, nearly every trader I work with, if they sit down with a one-on-one -on -one with me and they say to me, KD, put me on a trade plan because the trade plans work. KD, help me with this problem. Entries, exits. KD, help me with stop losses. KD, help me with fear. KD, help me with greed. KD, KD, all of them. They all start with a trade plan. I cannot help you unless I know you, period.
So if you ask somebody for help and that guy or girl sits down with you and says, well, just do this, this, and this, they're not, a, they don't know you. They can't develop you, period. You got to know somebody. You got to know yourself. All right. So that's what you have to do. What have we learned so far? We've learned the seven tips to setting goals, to scaling, to get consistent and profitable, to get to your retirement, to get to the seven figure mark, whatever you're trying to do. This is what you need to do. Number seven, be ready to accept change. Number six, set realistic goals. All right. Do a SWOT assessment. Number five, track yourself. New traders. One, three, six, 12 method. Number four, don't laundry list, folks. One thing at a time. Number three, give yourself time and grace. All right. Watch this video on the podcast to understand how to get there. Number two, be consistent. Stop starting and stopping and starting and stopping. Just keep going. Have somebody hold you accountable to that. And then number one, know yourself. Get a mentor or a friend to hold you accountable. Now, how? How do you track your goals? Well, people use blank journals. You can do what you want. We use the 90 Day Wealth Wells Day Trading Journal. Now, let me show you how this thing looks. All right. Here's the day trading, day trading journal right here. Okay. Now, in this journal, I have several goals pages. And we also have an updated revised edition coming out soon where we detail a little more for those trying to go to the next step. I put my thoughts and my methodology in this thing, but it's going to start with where you're trying to go. All right. People want to make money to retire. You want to make 50% return by the end of the year. You want to do all this stuff. That's cool. That's cool. But you're going to have to define it. All right. A goal that's not written down is just a dream. So the first thing I have you do, and we go through other pages here, but the first thing I have you do is start writing down your high level goals. So, so from some folks, Hey, I want to retire. I want to do this or that. Whatever the case is, you write it down. Then from here, we build a framework. So I'm going to encourage you to use the Wealth Wells 90 day day trading journal. It helps you track your progress in the one, three, six, 12 method. And it helps you break down your steps and your metrics every day so that when you reach out for help, be it from me or for somebody else, then you are ready to get the help. All right. So this is how we set goals. You can get it. It's on Amazon. It's on, uh, you know, our link inside of our link tree, wherever you want. If you're trying to get to the high level status, that's how you're going to get there, folks. All right. Now, last week alone, we crushed the market. Now, how do we crush it? Well, <laughs> number one, we crush it because we understand what to track and what to look for. So go ahead and watch the two videos here about consistency, how I've helped the last two traders get to their goal for 100 figures. Now, you want to be better. You want to do better. Ultimately, it comes down to these three words. Now, these three, these three words will change your day trading career. Here they are. Raise your standards. Hold yourself accountable. Get into a better environment, develop better skills, and grow. If you do that, remember, people don't always get what they need. They don't always get what they want, but they always get their standards. This is how to set your goals properly to get to that six and seven figure mark in the market. KD for the Wealth Wells, signing out.